his team had spoken to two NHS trusts to discuss how the party can deliver its election pledge of an additional 40,000 appointments a week. The election has come and gone, and we now have a new prime minister. The 4th of July was the general election of United Kingdom. All the parties that have campaigned for this general election, they all had one or two things to say about immigration, like cutting down the net migration rate of the country. As a matter of fact, some of these parties came out saying that even the previous government, that's the outgoing government, did not really do enough work in terms of bringing out policies that will crack down the net migration rate of the country. The Conservatives have let immigration get out of control. We've got record numbers uh, of people coming to this country. And they've now uh, said they're going to have a visa cap. They've not said what the number is, so they've got a visa cap without a cap. It is utter chaos. They've lost control. You know, we have this relationship with Labour Party okay which i understand perfectly but then we should not expect that immediately the new government gets into power that they are going to reverse all those policies i will let you guys watch this goal must be to help the british economy off its immigration dependency to start investing more in training workers who are already here migration is part of our national story always has been always will be and the Labour Party will never diminish the contribution it makes to our economy, to public services, to your businesses and our communities. But let me tell you, the days when low pay and cheap labour are part of the British way on growth must end. This isn't about Brexit. All around the world, business is waking up to the fact we live in a new era for labour. And while they're adapting, our low growth model is holding us back. This was from the new prime minister. One of the things that he made priority is the Rwanda movement, okay? He will do everything possible to make sure that they do not execute that movement, okay? So yeah, let me take you guys to this particular place. Stammer has already confirmed he will immediately junk his Tory predecessor, Rechi Sunak's flagship immigration policy of deporting asylum seekers to the African nation of Rwanda, a strategy that was recently cemented in law after facing a series of challenges in the courts. The scheme cost British taxpayers hundreds of millions of pounds, okay, without a single person being deported. Stammer told journalists at his first press conference after entering number 10 Downing Street that the Rwanda scheme was dead and buried before it started and had never been a deterrent. So would be migrants as it would only ever have deported less than 1% of those arriving across the English Channel on small boats. Labour has already pledged to curb small boats crossing the channel by launching a new border security command which is expected to take shape in the coming days as home secretary Juvent Copa appoints its commander so guys as we have new prime minister we also have new cabinet members of course we have new immigration minister we have new home secretary guys this lady that you are seeing on the screen now is the new home secretary james clavery is no longer there remember that james clavery got into power just last year where he was appointed home secretary of united kingdom following the resignation of the former home secretary braver man you guys still remember the lady? But yeah, that is the election news as it is now. I'm going to leave the source of this information on the description box of this video. You can as well go there. Yeah, read more about it. I want to quickly tell us six things that we should expect. Okay, starting from immigration, like the ones that affect us from immigration down to the economy. The first thing on my list is immigration, as I have already explained. Okay, and he also talked about the NHS, cutting down the waiting time in the NHS, and of course, the doctors. He has plans to resolve the current disputes that has been going on with doctors that's talking about payment of salaries and all that okay the prime minister also told journalists his team 
had spoken to two NHS trusts to discuss how the party can deliver its election pledge of an additional 40,000 appointments, scans and operations a week. Guys, so part of the things that we should expect is more jobs under NHS because this government plans to execute this. They said they will be bringing in over 40,000 new appointments, okay? Scans and operations a week. Labor leadership knows that repairing the NHS is another front on which the government will be judged from day one. The next thing that they are going to do also is the prison crisis. The prison system in England and Wales is close to breaking out with the latest official figures showing 87,453 spaces are occupied out of a total of 8,864. So it means that most of the spaces there in the prison are already occupied. This is one of the things he's going to consider as he is getting into power. The crisis was identified before the election by Stammer's chief of staff, okay, so Gray, as one of the biggest immediate problem Labour would have to address on entering office. Labour has also committed to keeping the previous conservative government's early release scheme placed to its level of overcrowding and plans to revamp planning laws more on that below to make it faster to build new prisons. The next one, planning reform, okay? Labour has promised to get major infrastructure projects moving much faster by redefining what is nationally significant and rewriting so-called national policy statements with the intention of making it harder for local authorities to block developments. So now they are talking about the economy, development of the economy and all that, okay? Relations with nations and regions. The new prime minister has immediately embarked on a tour of British revolved nation to seek a reset of relations with the first ministers of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Discussing the four nation tours at his press conference Saturday, Stemmer said he wanted not just to meet the first ministers to discuss the challenges they face, but to establish a way of working across the United Kingdom that will be different and better to the way of working that we have had in previous years. Now he's going to meet with all the ministers, okay? The United Kingdom has four regions, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. He would be meeting with the government of these four regions, okay? That's the ministers of these four regions, okay? So they could actually discuss on how to progress the economy. Then the next one, he talks about the EU relations, okay? After years of tension and acrimony between the United Kingdom and its European neighbors over the terms and legacy of Brexit, we know Brexit happened in the year 2020, where United Kingdom came out of the European Union. We already know this, right? Stammer has indicated his intention to open a new chapter of relations with European Union. I don't know how he's going to achieve this. I don't know. Nobody knows how he's going to achieve this. The new prime minister told German Chancellor of so so and so on focus shortly after taking office that he wanted greater economy cooperation. Why a separate call with French President Emmanuel so so and so person, okay, including migration and the economy. These are the things that they plan to bring into place immediately Labour Party gets into power. And of course, they have started work immediately. Let's not forget also that one of the things that they promised to do is to employ more of British people, okay? That's to say they will stop employment of foreign workers. Remember, it's the same party that won the election that brought out that idea that they may likely stop the employment of foreign workers. That's to say they want to train their people. They will train British people to occupy those positions. Then again, I was asking myself on a personal note, okay, how do they really plan to achieve this? Because if you check the NHS, some of these healthcare sectors, you see the vacancies there is migrants that are willingly, genuinely want to take up these roles, okay? Some of these roles actually need urgent workers to fill in those positions, okay? 
So you saying that you want to train people, how long is it going to take for you to train these people? Okay, because there are some courses that may take years, months, weeks, you know, for them to undergo the training. Okay, so does it mean that these employers are going to hold on waiting for you to train more British people? Anyways, let's see how it goes. Congratulations again to the Labour Party and of course, you know, our new Prime Minister, our new Home Secretary. Congratulations to you all. Thank you guys for watching. Do well to share this video, like this video, and do not go without subscribing to the channel if you have not done that already. I remain blessing and Mozuzu of Blessed Blessing Channels. <laughs> <laughs>